Hello, I'm your Coding Grid AI assistant. How can I help you? How can you help me? I'm here to assist you with a wide range of topics related to Coding Grid, the Visual L programming language, computer science concepts, and mathematics. Whether you're just starting to learn how to code or looking to deepen your understanding of these subjects, I can offer guidance, explanations, and support. Some of the ways I can help include, one, Visual L programming, providing explanations about Visual L syntax, statements, data types, expressions, functions, classes, objects, inheritance, and other language features. Two, programming concepts, helping you understand fundamental programming concepts such as loops, conditionals, recursion, algorithms, data structures, and more. Three, troubleshooting code, offering tips for debugging your Visual L programs, understanding error messages, and fixing common coding mistakes. Four, coding grid app, answering questions about how to use the coding grid application, navigating through courses, and understanding the interface and the set of tools provided. Five, computer science fundamentals, explaining core computer science topics such as computational thinking, algorithms, complexity, data structures, software design principles, and more. Six, mathematical concepts, assisting with mathematical principles and problem-solving techniques that are commonly used in programming and computer science. Seven, general inquiries, providing information about computers, smartphones, apps, internet technologies, and anything else that relates to programming and technology. Eight, guided learning, walking you through the steps to create, run, and modify programs within the coding grid. Feel free to ask questions or seek clarification on any of these aspects, and I will do my best to help you out. Please provide all answers as if you were explaining to a 10-year-old child. Absolutely, I can definitely explain things in a simple way that's easier to understand. Here's how I can help you. One, visual language. I can tell you how to make programs in Visual L, like how to tell the computer to do things step by step, how to remember things using variables, or how to make decisions with if statements. It's like giving your computer a list of instructions to follow. Two, coding blocks. If you're using Coding Grid, I can show you how to drag and drop blocks to build your program. Blocks are like pieces of a puzzle that you put together to make the computer do something cool. Three, fixing mistakes. If your code doesn't work like you want it to, I can help you figure out what's wrong and how to make it right. Think of it as a detective game where we look for clues in your code. Four, learning to use Coding Grid. If you're not sure how to do something in the Coding Grid app, like moving your cursor around or changing colors on the grid, I can guide you through it. Five, understanding coding stuff. I can explain coding stuff in a fun way, like how loops are like repeating the same steps in a dance over and over, or how a function is like a magic spell that does something special every time you say its name. Six, math help. Sometimes coding uses math, and I can help explain those math parts, like adding numbers together or figuring out patterns. Seven, just ask. Whatever you're curious about, you can ask me. Do you want to know how the internet works or what an app is or anything about gadgets? Go ahead and ask and we can explore the answers together. Eight, let's make programs. I can help you come up with ideas for your own little programs and show you how to put them together like building with Legos. When you wanna know something, just let me know and we'll jump in together. How many statements does Visual L have? In Visual L, there are many different kinds of statements that you can use to tell your program what to do. Think of them like different types of building blocks that you can put together to create your program. Here's a quick list to give you an idea. One, movement, like down, up, right, left, jump. Two, coloring, like color. Three, control flow, like on select, if, switch, break, continue. Four, loops, like repeat, while, do while, for, for each. Five, Output and wait, like print, wait. Six, cursor control, like cursor. Seven, comments for making notes with slash. Eight, variables, like variable for remembering things and set for changing them. Nine, function and execute, like function, execute. Ten, program control, like return, exit. Eleven, error handling, like try, throw. Twelve, concurrency, like thread, lock. Thirteen, classes, for creating your own types with class, 
Visual L has enough statements for you to create a range of programs, from easy ones to more complex ones as you learn more. If you count each one I listed, there are more than 20 types of statements you can use. And within some of these, like if or function, you have even more options to choose from. Write a program that moves the cursor around the grid. Sure, moving the cursor around the grid is like moving a piece on a game board. Here's a simple Visual L program that will move the cursor in different directions. Start by moving the cursor right by one cell. Now, let's move the cursor down by one cell. Next, move the cursor left by one cell. Finally, move the cursor up to the starting point. When you run this program in Coding Grid, you'll see the cursor move to the right, down, left, and then back up, making a little square on the grid. It's like drawing a square path with the cursor's movement. Thank you, but can you write a program that will move the cursor around the edge of the grid cell by cell? Certainly. To move the cursor around the edge of the grid, we have to go right until we reach the end, then down, then left, and up, always checking if we are still on the edge. We can do this with a combination of while loops and checking our position using predefined variables like cursor.row and cursor.column. Here's how you could write that program. When you run this Visual L program, the cursor will start in the top left corner of the grid and move along the edges, going right, down, left, and lastly up until it gets back to where it started. It will go around the grid like it's marching along the border. Is it possible to make the cursor move in a slow manner? Yes, you can definitely make the cursor move slowly on the grid. You can use the wait statement in between the moves to add a little pause each time the cursor moves. Here's how you could adjust the program to move the cursor slowly around the edge of the grid. I used wait 1s to make the program wait for one second after moving each cell. If that's too slow or too fast, you can change the 1 to another number or s to ds, des isochrons, which are tenths of a second, to adjust the speed. Have fun watching your cursor take a slow march. What benefits will I gain from learning Visual L? Learning Visual L can give you some really awesome skills that will help you in many ways, especially if you're just starting to learn coding. Here are some of the benefits. One, understanding the basics. Visual L is a great way to start learning about how programming works. You'll learn about giving commands to the computer and see how it follows your instructions. Two, thinking like a programmer. When you code, you learn to think in steps and solve problems. Visual L can help you develop this way of thinking, which is super helpful for all kinds of things, not just coding. Three, creativity. Visual L lets you be creative, just like when you're drawing or building something with blocks. You can imagine something in your mind and then create it in the program. Four, math skills. Coding with Visual L can help you with math. You'll get better at understanding patterns, logic, and numbers, which is helpful for your math classes and just really good for your brain. Five, fun projects. You can make your own little games or animations with Visual L and show them to your friends and family. It's pretty cool to make something that others can play with. Six, step to other languages. Once you know Visual L, it's easier to learn other programming languages like Python, Java, or JavaScript. It's like learning to ride a scooter before learning to ride a bike. Seven, we use computers for so many things like games, homework, and talking with friends. Understanding how they work with Visual L can help you feel more confident with technology. Eight, future jobs. So many jobs use computers and lots of them need people who can code. When you learn Visual L, you're getting a head start on skills that could be really useful for a job you might wanna do when you grow up. That's great. Wish me luck on my coding journey. Absolutely. Good luck on your coding adventure. Keep exploring, practicing, and creating. Remember, every coder starts with that first exciting step. If you ever get stuck or have a question, I'm here to help you out. Enjoy the journey and have a ton of fun making your own programs. You're going to be amazing.